Friday at the end of the month, so that means it's time for another Blu-ray haul! And if you can see from the title, this is my biggest haul video ever. I got three complete series for shows, lots of movies, a big-ass poster I'm going to show you guys. But if you guys are new to my Blu-ray videos, I try to make them really low-key, little, little editing. Me being me, telling stories, starting on my words. February this month was a busy month for me. It was my birthday. I turned 21 years of age. I'm now a human being. I can go to the bar. I... I don't drink. But anyways, um, it was my birthday, so I got a bunch of movies for that. And then uh, my grandparents live in North Dakota, so we took a road trip. My dad, my brother, and I drove to North Dakota. I live in California. took 30 hours. Would not recommend because it snows. It was minus 54 degrees there with the wind. It was ridiculous. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the movies I got for... Jeez, this <laughs> is knocked a half a stack over. First up, we got La La Land. Um, Damien Chazelle, he's, he's a beast. I love this guy so much, and I love this movie so much, and... Nice, pretty slip cover. I, I, one of my favorite movies ever. I had it on DVD, but not on Blu-ray. So I asked for this for my birthday, and I got it. Then I have Patriot's Day. Uh, uh, this whole stack right here is everything I asked for my birthday. Patriot's Day. I love Peter Berg. He did this, and Deepwater Horizon, and Lone Survivor. And I love Mark Wahlberg. It's good. It's a really good, impactful film. Then we got 300 Spartans. What is your profession? Uh, Steelbook. I have not opened it yet, because... I don't have been in the mood for a blood and guts uh, kind of movie, but just look at them. Just shredded as all hell. They're freaking gods, man. Spartans. 300 is a fire movie. It's a little dude movie. Whenever I'm in the mood, I'm like, I want to get intense. That's the movie I watch. All right, grab a couple more. And then I got Dr. Sleep in the beginning of the month. One of my favorites last year. Haven't got a chance to rewatch it. And, um, and the reason for that is because there's a director's cut, which is like over three hours. And I got to find a day I'm home from work early enough. I can pop it on like at five o'clock. Or six o'clock, so it's not ending too late at night. But I love the Doctor Sleep, fantastic, and yeah, it's really, really good. Then we have the Drop. I ordered this on Amazon. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, I definitely recommend. It's definitely kind of a slower burn, but it's starring Tom Hardy. I, I, I don't want to explain. I don't want to give it too much away. Check this movie out. Anything with Tom Hardy is worth checking out. But the Drop is awesome. I love it a lot. Then I got Parasite. God, wow. What a film. I actually got a chance to review it this month. The review is on the channel. If I remember, I'll put it in the cards above. But if not, the review is on the channel now. Parasite is it's, it's the best movie of last year. And it, it might even be my favorite because I did see this um, really late. I don't know. I, it, it's so good. And I love it so much. And it's so crazy and different than I ever thought it would be. And it took us on twists and turns I never, ever imagined. So Parasite is freaking sick. Then we got one of my favorite top, probably top five favorite movies of all time. Warrior and a nice slip cover. I asked for this for my birthday because I have it on DVD. I've had it on DVD and um, it's really stuck in. I can't get it out of the slip cover. But um, if you guys are like, I always recommend to people and uh, this movie, like, you got a movie to recommend. Warrior's it. I love Warrior. It's very underappreciated. I'm like, look at this. That's how hard. Oh, the slip cover is breaking, dude. No, sorry. That's what happens here. The slip cover is breaking. But Warrior is awesome. Joel Edgerton, Tom Hardy. It's kind of like. It's kind of like how they got famous. This is the movie like before they got famous, and the movie really found an audience later, but very, very underrated and underappreciated. Then I got this for my birthday, and I already had it on Blu-ray, but hey, nice enough. Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2, they're good movies. I like them a lot. Then we got the classic Jurassic Park. My brother uh, got this for my birthday, and then he was saying, he was uh, walking to Walmart, and he saw this. He's like, dude, he's got to have that. He's got to get it. And I have all of them on DVD. I have a lot of movies on DVD, because I've only been collecting Blu-rays for like a year and a half. So... Jurassic Park, of course. Then, top three favorite movies of all time for me. The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Again, had it on DVD. And I, I, had, to, or I had to get this for... Um, I got it for my birthday. And I had to get it on Blu-ray. One of my favorite movies of all time. Still in this packaging. Need to rewatch it. I, I talk about this movie all the time on my channel. It is, it is beautiful and perfect. And I love it so much. Then, this is a recommendation for my brother. He really likes it. Uh, Kevin Costner's Waterworld 4K. Ordered on Amazon. I have not seen it yet. Um, I've... Been watching lots of shows we're getting to in a sec, and lots of the movies I got, but have not got a chance to see this yet. But I, I hear it's I hear it's pretty good. If you guys have seen it, let me know down in the comments below. Then my favorite show of all time, uh, Avatar: Last Airbender. I was gonna say Game of Thrones, and looking at that, that comes up next. Avatar: Last Airbender is my favorite show of all time. I'm currently watching it. I've watched like eight episodes in like one night because they're only 20 minutes. And um, tomorrow, actually, the first episode of Film Geeks actually drops, and me and uh, Ryan from Nerdy Book TV are talking about. The Last Airbender in all its glory. Then, birthday present from the big brother. 
Game of Thrones entire uh, completion complete series. My girlfriend's only seen the first two seasons, so we rewatched uh, re the first season already. We are about halfway through the second season, and I'm so excited to get to the third season. It's one of my favorite seasons, The Red Wedding. Oh my god, so awesome. And to get to this amazing show, even season eight, even though it's kind of an abomination, still gotta watch it. Still gotta watch it. Then to go along with my um, After Last Airbender, I got The Legend of Korra. I had not seen The Legend of Korra, but my, my buddy Ryan from Nerdy Blurb TV, shout out again. He recommended, dude, if you love Avatar, you will love Legend of Korra. Very excited to check this one out when I'm done with Avatar. So very excited for that. Then I got Jojo Rabbit. I have not got a chance to see this yet. I just bought it the other day. I had a Blu-ray hunt. And I posted that video too. I happened to go get this. And I'm very excited to check it out. This, is, this has been busy. I saw The Invisible Man. I've been watching TV shows. So I got to watch this. I'm very excited to watch it. I love Taika Waititi. Thor, uh, Thor Ragnarok is top tier MCU. Knives out. It's a donut hole inside another donut's hole. Um, I agree Parasite should have won the Oscar, but it, it, they didn't. I was rooting for Ryan Johnson. And I was rooting for Ryan Johnson because I hadn't seen Parasite before the Oscars. But then I uh, watched Parasite and definitely deserved the best screenplay. But this would have been this would have been really cool if it won. I love Knives Out so much. I saw it three times in theaters, my second favorite movie of last year. Then I got, I'm going to do a couple 4Ks right here. Because at uh, Best Buy, they had three for 35 4Ks. First up, we had I Am Legend. Do you see how many movies I got? I didn't even count, but it's a crap ton. Uh, I Am Legend, fantastic. I love it, 4K. Then we got Central Intelligence, one of my favorite comedies of all time. Love Kevin Hart and DJ together. They're great. Then I got The Great Gatsby. I love The Great Gatsby. It's my favorite Great Gatsby. Um, there's four of them. I've seen all four, and I love it. And um, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Tobey Maguire, right there. He did that. Like Tobey Maguire's a good actor. And he did Spider-Man, and he was pretty good at Spider-Man. Then he did those and that, and then... No, he doesn't do anything. Whatever. Then we got... It's a beautiful night in the neighborhood. I'm not going to sing anymore. I have not seen this yet, but um, I'm very excited. I love Tom Hanks. And when I saw the trailer, I was like, I can't wait to see that. And I didn't get a chance to see it in theaters. And then I heard it was okay. It's different than people were expecting. Yada, yada, yada. But I bought it on Blu-ray, so I'm very excited to check it out. We have three more movies, and then I got a poster to show you. Then I'll do this double feature. Um, I bought Return of the King on Steelbook a couple, about two, three months ago. Then I figured, you know what? Have to order these two on Amazon. Lord of the Rings, Two Towers, and Fellowship of the Ring. Um, lots more Lord of the Rings content coming to my channel. If you guys are still watching, you still care. That's coming soon, huh? I love Lord of the Rings movies. My Three of my favorite movies of all time. And then we got Snatch, because I love The Gentleman. It, it's my, still my favorite movie of the year, and I think it's going to go down to one of my top 10 favorite movies of the year. I got to reach a new movie, so I got Snatch to see it. And man, it's a good movie. It's um, old, so certain things are kind of like funny then, might not be as funny now, but I thought it was great. Uh, Brad Pitt talks like that, he talks so fast and so stuttery. It's, it's hilarious, and I thought it was really, really well done. And now, uh, I'm showing you guys right now, and boom, a picture of Joker. It's like a mirror. My mom got it for me and got a frame from Hobby Lobby. Shout out to Hobby Lobby. And it's like a mirror. You can see my reflection in it, but it's it's glorious in, in all of it. And I, my uh, room is pretty cluttered with uh, uh, posters, so I got to do a bunch of rearranging. And uh, that's what I'm doing tomorrow, or the, I guess the not today, because today's video is posting. So Joker poster is going up somewhere, and I'll post a picture on Instagram. Follow me at Trevor Sancho. So there it concludes... My biggest Blu-ray haul of all time. I'll, count, I'll put it in the title. But thank you guys so much for watching. What movies did you guys pick up this month? Go ahead and comment that down below. Oh, one other thing. I got my wisdom teeth out this month. I forgot to mention that. It's been a busy month. So um, I've been kind of slack on posting videos with this week. And I'm having lots of videos. So if you guys are still watching, uh, I got my wisdom teeth out. And there's something for you. Um, thanks guys for watching. Uh, tonight, or maybe tomorrow, I'll have an Onward movie review coming out. The Film Geek Movie Show is coming out too. Very, very excited for all of it. Thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor. Go see a movie. Talk next time. Peace.